have an already fastened your seatbelt, insert the metal end into the buckle and pull the strap so it's tight across your hips. To open your seatbelt, lift the top of the buckle. And remember, seatbelts should be fastened whenever you're seated in case of unexpected turbulence. U.S. law requires compliance with lighted and posted signs and crew member instructions. All flights are non-smoking. Dimming the cabin lights for takeoff. Individual reading light controls are at each seat. It's our honor to care for you on your journey. If you have any questions, please refer to your safety card or ask any of the crew members as they do their final cabin check. And as always, let us know if there's anything we can do to make your time with us more enjoyable.
seat belt fastened until the seat belt sign is turned off. And keep the aisles clear of all carry-on items. Take a moment to check your seat back pocket for any personal items, like tablets and cell phones. Okay, so it's like been a three hour over overlay, I guess. I don't know what it's called. So it's kinda of been waiting around. You saw that it went knees in the last clip, so yeah. I really do like first class American Airlines a lot. It's really nice. So yeah. I like the, I like the fact that they call me Mr. Mick. I think that's so cool. Um, and as you all know, it's my first time flying first class. Once again, shout out to my boss. So, it's kind of been taking video of um, the flight, honestly. So, yeah, that's what it is. And I'm vlogging in public because I really don't care. <laughs> so, so, yeah. Anyway. of our movies and TV shows, you can stream from your own personal device by connecting through the Wi-Fi and going to aainflight.com. Again, that wonderful card in your seat back pocket there, the blue one, will walk you through step by step on how to do that. Thanks, guys.
idea. Obviously not owned by Apple. But they are authorized retailers, so yeah. Weird. Okay, almost a perfect trip. I just, as I landed, got a notification from American Airlines that my luggage is in Charlotte, North Carolina still, and is now on its way here. I don't know why it wasn't with me on the plane, like it has been this whole time, but regardless, found my car, she looks fine, other than the dent from that incident with the, with the um, scooter, so. No door dings. This truck's been here longer than this car's been here because it was here. This same truck was here when I pulled in nine days ago to park my baby. And now it is. It feels good. It's in the 80s, but there's no humidity at the moment, so it's like a cool breeze. And maybe even the 70s. It is good to be home. I already missed the beach. <laughs> I'll be honest. Uh, but uh, yeah, I would like my luggage, American Airlines. You guys have been great up until this very last minute. So. That being said, let's talk real quick. I couldn't really talk very long because people were staring at me in the, well, definitely in the plane, but in the airport as well. So, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm out here by myself for the most part, free to talk. And so first class is really amazing, honestly. Uh, on the way there, uh, there was my first flight. They knew my name. They called me. You know, Mr. Minnick, like, good morning, Mr. Minnick. Would you like anything to drink, Mr. Minnick? You want any snacks, you know? And Which I declined because the only thing they had was like sugar-based snacks. And I'm limiting myself on sugar, as you all know, for very obvious reasons. Um, and then the second flight was lunch, which I took pictures of and put on Instagram. And if I remember, I'll insert it right here, but I probably won't. Um, so, and then today, there were no lunches or dinners. I thought there would be. Uh, but I did go cheat a little bit on my diet and had Wendy's. It was either Wendy's or Cinnabon. Those were my two options in the area I was. I didn't want to walk around the whole Charlotte hub. It's so big. It's such a big airport. If you've ever been to the hub, you know what I'm talking about. It's in Charlotte, North Carolina. Massive airport. And I didn't want to stray too far from my gate and miss my flight. Even though I had a three-hour layover, I was, I'm just paranoid like that. I like to stay in the area near my departure uh, gate. So I had Wendy's over Cinnabon. Obviously the healthier option was Wendy's. The healthiest option would have been, I don't know if they had had something healthier than Wendy's, I guess but they didn't. Maybe if they had a subway, I don't know. Regardless, I am now back home and, uh, I, I wrote next to a douchebag on the way home. He complete dick. Yeah didn't talk or anything you don't have to talk to me that's fine i don't like talking to people either but he made me feel like i was an inconvenience to him because i was in first class so he can go uh shove it for as far as i am concerned regardless i'm home they're going to deliver my bags to my house hopefully tonight for free it is gonna be for free but hopefully it's tonight because i just checked and my bags are now leaving charlotte north carolina so they'll be here in three hours so long it takes to get from charlotte north carolina to kansas city uh which, thank God for air, airplanes, because driving that would be like two days. So, three hours versus two days is a no-brainer. Always fly. Um, and if you can, fly first class. I highly recommend it. It's my first time ever. I'm very impressed with American Airlines, other than losing my bag on the way home. Even though it's not really lost, it just wasn't on my plane when it should have been. For whatever reason. And I wasn't the only one. There's like six or seven other people who didn't get their bags either. So, it sucks. So hopefully they can deliver my uh, clothes tonight because I don't have any clothes. I packed all my clothes I wear because I didn't know if I was going to need it for emergencies. You know, if something happens to one of my outfits, I always had backups. Well, unfortunately, everything, including the backups, is now in the air and not here next to me. So <laughs> hopefully KCI will deliver tonight. That's all I can hope for. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Sorry the first good portion of this video. Not much talking, but again, I was around people. Didn't want to say much. Didn't want to disturb anybody more than I apparently already did. So, all right, take care. Uh, luggage from the airport. Uh, Daniel Minnick. Daniel Minnick, I'm your dad. I got a couple more bags, and then I'll be going. <laughs> 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 Thank you.
And Danny, you left a cable and a sock. A cable and a sock. Listen, I was gonna crown my Vic with the sock, but it's too goddamn small. Also, don't expect to see these things for like another three years. Send me your address, maybe I'll mail them back in six months. Nice.